Hello and welcome to this video in which we will solve problem number 41 to 50. This particular set of 10 problems and the next set of 10 problems are very easy and we will solve these basic problems to reinforce the concept of geometric progression so that we can move on to harder problems. So problem number 41 says that find 1 plus half plus quarter plus 1 by 8 plus and so on to n terms. Now, if you see this geometric progression, then first term is obviously 1 and the common ratio is half by 1 which is half or 1 by 4 by 1 by 2 is again half or 1 by 8 by 1 by 4 is again half. Number of terms is n. So we have a is equal to 1, r is equal to half and n is equal to n. So sum of this series would be a into 1 minus r to the power n divided by 1 minus r. So that leads us to 2 into 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power n. Problem number 42 says that find 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 and so on to 12 terms. So if you see carefully then in this case uh, your common ratio is 2 because 2 by 1 is 2, 4 by 2 is 2, 8 by uh, 4 is also 2. And the common uh, number of terms in the geometric progression is 12. So here sum of 12 terms is a into r to the power n minus 1 by r minus 1. Now do not get confused that why I have written r to the power n minus 1 here and 1 minus r to the power n in the previous uh, case. It does not really matter because the sign will remain same. The difference is by convention what I do is when r is less than 1 or modulus of r is less than 1 then I write 1 minus r to the power n divided by 1 minus r. But if modulus of r is greater than 1, then I write r to the power n minus 1 by r minus 1. So in this case, S12 becomes 1 into 2 to the power 12 minus 1 by 2 minus 1, which is nothing but 4096 because the denominator is 1 and 2 to the power 12 is 4096. Problem number 43 says that find 1 minus 3 plus 9 minus 27 plus so on to 9 terms. In this case, First term is 1 and common ratio is minus 3 as you can observe. So S9 would be 1 into minus 3 to the power 9 minus 1 by minus 3 minus 1. Uh, sorry, there is one extra parenthesis there. So denominator is minus 4 and uh, we compute the numerator to get the result as 4921. Problem number 44 says that find 1 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 9 plus 1 by 27 and so on to n terms. In this case, first term is 1, common ratio is 1 by 3 and number of terms is n. So our final uh, sum of this geometric progression is 3 by 2 multiplied with 1 minus 1 by 3 to the power n. Problem number 45 says that find the sum of n terms of the series a plus b plus a square plus 2b plus a square plus 3b up to n terms. In this case, if you look carefully, it is a sum of a geometric progression and an arithmetic progression. The terms containing powers of a is a geometric progression, a a square a cube. In this case, first term is a and common difference, common ratio is also a. The second part containing b in each term is forming an ap because b plus 2b plus 3b gives first term as b and uh, common difference is also b. So we write it accordingly. Uh, we rewrite the given series in this way and then we find the final value as a into 1 minus a to the power n divided by 1 minus a plus b into n into n plus 1 by 2. We call that sum of uh, the arithmetic progression 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n terms is n into n plus 1 by 2. Problem number 46 says that a man agrees to work at the rate of $1 the first day, $2 the second day, $4 the third day, $8 the fourth day and so on. How much would he get at the end of 120 days? So uh, the total amount received would be 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 up to 120 terms. So we substitute the values and we get a real large number here uh, which uh, I would rather implore you not to read because it is just really a large number, very large actually. Find the sum to n terms of the series 8 plus 88 plus 888 
plus so on. Now this is a moderately difficult problem if you don't know the trick. So the trick is that you take 8 common and then divide and multiply with 9. So the series will become 8 by 9 multipl multiplied with 9 plus 99 plus 999 plus and so on. So we can rewrite 9 as 10 minus 1, 99 as 100 minus 1, 999 as 1000 minus 1. Now the first term forms a GP with first term A and common uh, ratio 10. With the first term 10 and common ratio also 10. The second term is constant. It is all once up to n terms. So it will become 9. So we solve this and we get the end result as 8 by 8, 81 multiplied with 10 by n plus 1 minus 10 minus 9 n. This problem is a repeat of previous problem. So instead of 8, what it will contain will is 6. So 6 by 9 will become 2 by 3 and in the end it will be 2 by 27 and what is inside parentheses will remain same. This is again a repeat of the previous problem. In this case, 8 in our original question that is problem number 47 will become 4. So 4 by 81 what is inside parentheses will remain same. This is a slightly different problem. We have to find the sum to n terms of the series 0.1 plus 0.55 plus 0.555 and so on. So in this case you take out 0.5 common. Uh, sorry, it, it, there should not be uh, dots here. It should be, it is, it's wrong. It's wrong uh, uh, answer. You take 5 common, not 0.5 common. And then it should become 5 by 9. So actually it is all typed wrong. I, I'll fix it and then upload the uh, slide. So take 5 common here. Or... Yeah, you take 5 common here. If you take 5 common here, it will become... Or you take 0 0.5 common. If you take 0 0.5 common, then it will become 1 plus 1.1 plus, <laughs> uh, plus it will become 1.11. And then you multiply with 9. And then you can evaluate. When I'll upload this slide, I'll fix this. It, it is wrong solution. 0 0.5 into 0 0.1 will be 0 0.05, which is the first term, ten, which is 10 times less than the first one. And 0.5 into 0.11 will become 0 0.055, which is again 10 times less this. So actually, if we see that, if we, by the mistake which I have made, what happens because of that is the value of the entire series is less by 10 times. So if you multiply it with 10, it will be all right. So it will be 50 by 9. If 4 is wrong here should be fine. So what will happen is it is 50 by 9 and then rest of it. So thanks a lot for watching the video and if you have found this video informative uh, please uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel. In the next video I will present you with next problems. Enjoy.